In this example, we want to determine the number of terms required to approximate the alternating series with an error less than 0 0.001. Okay, so to do this, we're going to use the uh, residual for the alternating series. Okay, so uh, recall that the the residual okay is less than or equal to well, it's actually well. Let me say it this way: it's equal to s minus this the nth partial terms. And that is less than or equal to the uh, nth plus one term. Okay. So what we can do here is we can find the nth plus one term. Okay. Uh, we can use that, and then we're going to bound that by the error, and then from there we can, we're going to solve for inequality. Okay. So the nth plus one term, okay, for this uh, series is going to be one over n plus one squared. So. Okay, so the nth term is 1 over n squared. Okay, so that means for the nth plus 1 term, it's going to be 1 over n plus 1 squared. Okay, so we want to bound this with the error. Okay, we want this, so we want to find n such that this is less than the error that we're given. Okay. All right, so we can go ahead and solve this. Okay, so we're going to get 1 over n plus 1 squared. Okay. And then from here, this is the same. If we take the reciprocal of both sides, this is going to give us n plus 1 squared, okay, greater than, this is 1 over 0 0.001, which is 1,000, okay, so now I'll just take the square root on both sides, okay, and so then n has to be bigger than the square root of 1,000 minus 1. Okay, and so that's going to give us uh, 30.62. Okay, but remember that n is a, uh, n is a, it has to be a whole number. Okay, all right, so that means n must be, so that means n has to be bigger or equal to 31. Okay. Okay, so that means we need at least, uh, we need to do the sum from 1 to 31. We need at least 31 terms uh, to get an error of uh, less than 0 0.001, okay? Quantify what we have here, okay? Um, so S, okay, so our series, okay? So S is a series of minus 1 to the n plus 1 over n squared. So this series is um, and it's actually converging to pi squared over 12. Okay. So that was calculated using maple. Okay. And if we calculate S31, okay, we're going to get... So that's approximately 0 0.822970558586. Okay. So if we take the difference, okay, so our residual in this case, okay, we have S minus S31. If we take the difference here. Okay, that is equal to uh, 0 0.0005035586. Okay, so that's just an approximate difference. Okay, so that value, right, that is definitely less than 
zero zero one. Okay, that's less than the error that we that was stated here. Okay, so that's what that's what this uh, that's what the n is telling us here in this case that we need at least thirty one terms uh, to achieve the error of point zero zero one. Okay.